Hey free to play gang welcome back to another video so for today we are going to do the temporal 45 this is going to be done live uh let's take a look at the temporal disturbance bloodlust enemy attacks reduce the target's hp cap this is this is extremely dangerous and um i think i'm going to bring this team into this fight and the reason why i'm using this is as you can see there are almost no buffs on this team that's because their team has a ton of buff removers you can definitely work around it but i wouldn't really recommend like relying too much on buffs because if they remove your buffs you are kind of screwed so one very important thing to handle this temporal disturbance is to just simply not make them move so on my team i have four espers that can completely stop them from moving okay so number one i have longmian of course number two i have sender sender is really good for all kinds of AP controls, all kinds of stunts. And Tricky here, while he does not have innate stunts, he does have a Tyranny of Zeus set over here, which allows him to stun on all of his hits. So for example, his first skill hits twice, which means that you have two opportunities to land a stun. And his third skill hits three times, which means that you have three opportunities to land stuns. And not only that, you could potentially delay the stuns or even extend the stuns, sorry, to two turns with his third skill. So we're going to take a look at that in action because uh, Long Mian is going to go first, followed by Tricky. And of course, Jin Yu Yao here also has a very good chance to land a stun on her first skill, which is excellent for this fight. And uh, Clara is just here because she's a healer. If you don't have Clara, you can definitely use a Hang Ray. It's kind of like the same thing. But anyway, uh, this is going to be live. <laughs> So let's go, I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm going to start off with uh, AOE freeze, hopefully, yes. Okay, so we got some freezes over here. And of course you want to control the enemy Loyan because the Loyan has a very annoying skill here which is Fate. So you he deals damage to all enemies and reduces their HP ceiling by 30%. This is, this is completely bonkers. So we're going to have to stun him. And we do stun him, that's very nice. And of course... Uh, I think the first target that we want to get rid of is probably going to be their DPS because if their DPS attacks then obviously that's going to damage us a lot which lowers our HP cap. But now let's take a look at Revolver. Okay so as you can see over here this Lin Xiao has uh, one turn of freeze right? Let's see what happens if we use a Revolver here. And there you go. So now Lin Xiao is completely petrified for two turns. And I mean you can see like all the other enemies here they're like stunned for two turns and all that good stuff the only one who is not stunned for two turns is going to be freddy so i think maybe we can deal with freddy first so let's like uh, yeah let's change our target to freddy over here uh just whittle him down with whatever hp that we have yeah so longmian is is incredibly strong for this content that's just that's that's a given i mean yeah so we're just going to take down um basically whoever has the least uh stuns left but now everyone has like one turn of stun so wow, we really <laughs> okay. So this is this is the sole reason why I feel like Lomian is incredibly strong with ocean waves. As you can see, his free set is up again. But we're not gonna waste it for this round. I think we can, I think we can make do, or maybe we might need to refreeze again later. But anyway, let's move on with taking out the the Lin cells here. This is going to be uh, rather easy. So Sender is obviously very very powerful. And uh, one thing that you might want to be aware of is possibly the. Uh, Alexa because Alexa has the third skill that uh, reflects true damage so that is very dangerous especially if you're using sender your sender might actually uh, die pretty fast and uh, yeah I'm actually changing my target to long to to Loyan now because I feel like Loyan can potentially be quite dangerous if you don't control him I think I shall shall snipe her all right and then I think I can slow him I failed to slow can I stun him I failed to stun. <laughs> uh oh, I can stun him again. No, I think he's dead. Alright, that's good. Okay, so yeah, let's just work. Oh no, I wasted. I should have stunned her. Okay, so let's work on our reduce AP. And I failed to reduce AP. Okay, I'll stun her with this. Never mind, that's the best CC anyway. And yeah, so I think we basically can move on to the next stage without even getting hit. So the thing is, uh, for some of you guys who do not have the espers that I have, obviously this is not the only way to handle this stage, okay? Obviously this, these espers are not the only espers that are relevant for this content. So some espers that are really good and really cheap, okay? So number one, there is Tang Yun. I've talked about him a lot in some of my previous videos. Oh, crap, he failed to stun. Okay, that's because they're all... Uh, Inferno. And of course you can also opt for Jean or Jean, whichever. Okay, I think I gotta have to go with the Bonnie here. Let's get a stun up. Nice. Okay, we, we are gonna just like stun as much as we can right now. So Tricky, please AOE stun with your Tyranny of Zeus. Show me what you got. Full team stun maybe. Okay, we only secured two stuns, but that's good enough. So we can uh, 
stun the sander yeah because we don't have buffs and that's gonna hurt because yeah that reduced a little bit of our hp cap yep that definitely reduced a bit of our hp cap and unfortunately now their chloe is uh immune which is a problem okay i'm thinking uh wow how do i get rid of the buffs i don't have strippers i mean yeah wait i do have a stripper but he has already used his skill this is really challenging Okay, so Longmian is really terrible at, at for this particular floor. I mean, not, not this particular floor, but this particular wave. But a lot of this is really down to RNG. So yeah, if he fails, you can just restart anyway. And hopefully you learn your, your freezers well the next time round. Yeah, I'm gonna have to control his Chloe before she, she goes crazy again. And stun you, please. Nice. Okay, so now we can stun their Bonnie once more. Like so. Perfect. See, that's why Sender is so good. And I realized that my HP cap is just going down and that's not very pretty. Yeah, some of you guys might be wondering why am I not using my third skill to push my AP. And the answer is very simple. I have really no, no reason. <laughs> I have no idea why I'm not using her third skill. I should be using her third skill. Uh, okay, nice. Okay, so basically my low man is going to get screwed in the next round. That's fine. And that's about it. So this Chloe needs a little bit of a... Uh, I need to control her a little bit, she's gonna go crazy. But I, yeah, like I said, there is nothing much that I can do besides just uh, wiping her out, wiping her off the face of the earth. But I think we can still pass this this particular floor without any problems. Uh, it's, oh nice, okay, so let's do this. At least we managed to um, give her the miss debuff. And if we stun her now, that is GG for us. Stun, nice, okay, so yeah, that, that's pretty much it, right? And then we can move on to the boss floor after this. Okay, so what I like to do before the boss floor is to just uh, normal attack a lot. Because, uh, because then that's how you can re replenish your skills, right? So you make sure that when you enter the boss fight, you are, of course, fully equipped with all of your skills. So now I'm fully equipped. So even my Tricky can use his third skill on the next turn. And hopefully we land some freezers with Longmian because then the combo between Longmian and Tricky is going to be really really helpful so a lot of players don't really understand the use of tricky they don't really understand why he's so good i hear a lot of people calling him trash and like there is a lot of like negativity towards tricky and i completely do not understand it okay i mean i can understand why like let's say newer players i know why they might feel that way but <laughs> if you're a veteran if you do like pvp and all that this should be very clear cut okay so Everyone is positively affected by me, so hopefully we land some freezers. Of course the boss and height will not be frozen. At least get three. We got two, which is good enough in, in my opinion. Uh, okay, so because the, the enemy boss here, she cannot be stunned because she's a boss, I might want to take her out first. So I'm going to use Sender to take her out. And I'm going to use my second skill first because she's not going to be able to be stunned. And that gives me a speed up buff, which could potentially be quite useful. So we are going to try to stun Okay, yeah, we are going to try to stun the... We did it. TA. We, <laughs> we did it. Um, and we are just going to work towards uh, punishing their Raven. Ouch. That hurt a lot. Oh man, is this it? Oh, so close. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, I'm going to have to transfer the stun. And I'm going to do it to... I think they are tricky. Let's transfer the stun that way. And we failed. Uh, I think she's gone. Nope, she has a lot of HP. I really want to stun the TA here. Okay, and I think we can just drop her third skill for once. Alright, that didn't really do much. Freeze. Can we do this? Can we turn the tide? Oh, there's a bit of a lag. Stun. Nice. Fantastic. Um, work towards the Raven again. Oh, ouch. Yeah, this Raven hurts. Okay, so the reason why I want to take out Raven first is because she cannot be stunned, of course, which means that she's going to constantly do a lot of damage to us, and I don't really want that. Uh, and we should work on the height now. Okay, so we should work on the height now that uh, we can hopefully, okay, hopefully stun the rest. But except for my, my Jin Yao. My Jin Yao is going to focus on the rest because she gains AP if she attacks someone who is who has a debuff. So she has to attack the other enemies here so that she takes more turns. Okay, stun. Nice. Oh, I should have used my Loki to... Oh man, that sucks. 
I should have used my Loki to target the TA for elemental reasons. Am I screwed? I am absolutely screwed. Right. Oh, nice. Okay, delay the stuns. Let's go. I think we can still do this even without Longmian. It's gonna be uh, a little bit harder. He he doesn't do too much apart from just controlling. Oh crap. Okay. I'm gonna normal attack you for sure or can I stun him? I should stun him. This is a tough, tough choice. Okay, I will stun the... Yep, got a stun there. And I'm gonna secure a stun here. Nice. Fantastic. Kill you. Very nice. Stun you. No, we did not get the stun. And pop you. Come on. Get a stun, get a stun. Stun. Let's go. Uh oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, this is bad. Oh. Okay, no problem there. Stun the tricky. Very nice. Pop this guy. GG, we win. And that's about it, right? So we're gonna work on the Biondina next because she's the the main concern here. She's gonna do a lot of damage. I mean, okay, honestly, I'm lying. She's we we basically win this already. Uh the main the main threat here was the height. Right. And once we got rid of the height early, okay, so we had to secure stuns on all of their espers. To make sure that like they don't they don't mess us up because they have like TA and all that they are they're gonna like manipulate our holy crap they're gonna manipulate our AP like crazy they're gonna like do a lot of nonsense to us do a lot of damage and all that I, I don't want all those little excess stuff so yeah very importantly you need to bring a lot of CC you need to use Jean right you need to use uh, Tang Yun Tang Yun is an excellent choice um, yeah it doesn't matter that we lost Sander here we are, we are good and some other I think some some pretty good options. Uh, Kaylee, Kaylee is exceptional. Okay, so Kaylee has a lot of stuns in her kit, and Dahlia as well. Dahlia is a free-to-play choice that uh, her second skills, uh, her second skill can slow and freeze with a cooldown of just two turns. That is insanely strong for Temporal Tower. Okay, that is really strong for Temporal Tower. But her her main selling point, in my opinion, is also her third skill. But just saying that in Temporal Tower, she can be quite useful for her second skill. But apart from that, I think that's the only reason why you want to bring her in. But yeah, so that's it for Floor 45. I think it's not as hard as uh, people set it out to be. And yeah, I understand that I have Tricky and all that. But then again, Temporal Tower is meant to be like an endgame content. So I think the Zoo set is exceptional for Tricky. And in fact, it is exceptional for a lot of different Aspers. So as long as they're like multi-hitters like Pritzker, right? Pritzker is going to be exceptional. Super, super exceptional here. Tricky doesn't even come close to how powerful uh, Pritzker can be. So I think Pritzker is, is so much more powerful than uh, Tricky over here. But yeah, that's it. So we are done. And here is our Shimmer record. We're just going to go ahead and pop it. And of course, we're going to get Layla. But yeah, hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more dislike content because I make content every single day. And definitely, we are going to get Layla. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> and I'll see you guys. Oh, wait, sorry, and this has been free to play by the way, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.